story on what goes on in these funds and how it's being raised and all of that. So we want to make sure that in addition to remembering that, there's other stuff that has to happen, right? You have to have formal meetings. They have to be agendized. We're going to talk about that later. You have to have budgets. That's your plan, but a budget in itself is not pre-approval. And so a lot of times people get confused about that. Well, it's part of the budget, so we can do it. No, it's part of the budget, so it's part of the plan, but we still have to get pre-approval down the line. Fundraisers, you should be part of it. Um, approving payments, right? You should be involved in that. Um, maybe not as a group. Sometimes the approval happens after the fact with the payment. Depends on how your own process goes. Um, but, but at some point, you have to approve both the purchase itself and the payment. So that should be going through your minutes and through your meetings. So in addition to all of that, any club on campus needs to be approved, right? So if you have any groups of students meeting on campus, calling itself a club, that really needs to be approved by all of you. Now, sometimes we have clubs that aren't really raising money. They're just activity clubs. But for liability reasons, there shouldn't be groups of students meeting as a club without approval. So just keep that in mind. You hopefully have some type of form that if students want to, want to apply to have a new club, they fill out the form, it comes to all of you for approval. You guys, you guys are good on that, I think. Yeah. Don't have an issue. But make sure they are all approved by you guys as a board, or as a, and then also by the, by the college as well. Okay. But most of all, and I think in, in community college we do it better than in K-12, it's all about students. And it really is all about students. It should be students who are raising the money, making decisions on the activities, making decisions on how we're going to spend it. And because you're adults, you know, it helps more that you guys are involved in it. In K-12, we see a lot of time where teachers, principals are trying to make all the decisions on behalf of the students, and the role isn't different. The students there are the primary authority as well. So we want to make sure it's all about you guys, and the, and the, the staff are there to co-approve you. Okay, so everything on the screen right now should be in, a, in place at your college for the money that's being spent and raised, right? All has to happen through a club, and I want you to remember what a club is. A club is currently enrolled students at your college, right, at your college site, right? So all the money that's being raised and all the money that's being spent has to be on currently enrolled students. If somebody is no longer a student, they shouldn't be raising money, and they shouldn't be, actually money should not be spent on them. So that's really important, and with college that could be hard, right, because we have enrollment changing all the time. Someone might be a student one semester, but not another semester, but they do have to be currently enrolled students. So keep that in mind, because community college that gets a little tough, okay? Um, also, the advisor, so, so Tara, she has to be a certificated staff member. She has to be a staff member of the college. Um, if somebody were a volunteer advisor, that wouldn't work because they actually have to be an employee of the actual district. You guys are playing a major role. You're the primary authority, all of that you know. You have to have an approved constitution at all times. It's not a constitution that has to be re-approved every semester or every year. I mean, once you have a constitution in place, it's a constitution. But you also need to make sure it works, right? So if you have a constitution that's very out of date and you're not following it, or you are following it but it's not working, then you need to look at your constitution, and I think that's part of what you're talking about doing as well, and making sure it describes what you are as an organization. Because that constitution really should give you the parameters of what we are as an organization, how we run, how we do it. So that's a really, really important document. You have to have elected officers, you have to have an approved budget, and every one of your clubs has to have an approved budget that you guys are approving. Um, formal meetings, minutes of those meetings, that's the documentation that you are following laws and procedures, so the minutes are very important. And then all the clubs are actually reporting up to you guys, right? You have a way of knowing what they're doing, what their activities are, because you are, you're basically overseeing all the different clubs. Questions on any of that? We're going to talk about pieces of it, but so yes, for the, the clubs, do are you saying that every club on campus needs to have a constitution of its own? Every club on campus needs to have a constitution of their own, a budget of.